Chiro's is a career platform for women to help them connect with opportunities that uh, fit their life. A community that connects about uh, 300,000 women over 1,300 locations and each one of them comes looking for that particular fit for their career. Chiro's today has definitely given me the platform to reach many other women. I am looking forward to have at least a couple of people who have already shown interest to be part of my team. I wouldn't call it a startup because we are in our second year of operations now, but I've always wanted to work and face the challenges, uh, which ideally was told to me that it's a man's domain and you can't step into it. So I challenged that norm and uh, here I am today doing pretty successful and we've got a lovely customer base. As women from a very young age, we, we are already multi so you know we're kind of born to be entrepreneurs uh, I think that really works in the favor of uh, women as a women in tech I face a lot of challenges the biggest one is the perception issue uh, you know when you go out and talk to any investor any advisor any mentor they rarely expect a women talking technology that's the first thing uh, so it, it has come because of the perception issue trying to convince people to join you trying to convince people about your idea your technology understanding my business idea is to formalize the informal uh, sector of maids and uh, I want to um, give them a fair uh, you know, wages and uh, develop them as a person. I'm the founder of Timbuktu Young Authors Publishing. It has a unique by kids for kids publishing format and I'm very happy to be working with some really um, the tr you know, truly creative people. They are way more creative than us and I'm happy to be in a position where I can mentor them and I really enjoy my time with them. As you talked about women being in tech, I think uh, tech has become really that ubiquitous thing. It's, it's everywhere. Now, I did my automobile engineering, but I've sort of moved into a more uh, broader field. And the reason has been because of, I've seen the changes around myself and I've looked at how cities are evolving and how that coupled with technology is headed for a big revolution, a big change. So it has been every day about choices and those choices has been made by me. Things happened to me, but how I reacted, how I was to it, how I responded to it, was so me. And my request, without being preachy, because that's the easy thing to be, is I hope all of you in your life, in your work as entrepreneurs, as women, as cool, cool Madonnas, live that. I started this entrepreneurial journey last year, and I would uh, encourage all the women to break all the stereotypes, and let's look forward to uh, a uh, more uh, equal uh, tomorrow. You see all these uh, artist groups, most of them are women. And being a woman, I can relate to their, you know, uh, their pains, their sorrows, their everyday difficulties that they face. The message for all of us is that we certainly don't have to wait for a place where we are faced with a life-threatening situation for us to take that leap of achieving our best self and doing what we would do if you weren't afraid. By next Shiro summit or by next time we meet, I'm sure there would be more, uh, there, there would be more investment flowing towards women-centric businesses. Some of these may not be tech startups which are scaling up the way we expect the ecosystem to deliver, but these are relevant businesses built, you know, with social needs or the market needs in mind. Mm -hmm.